Six days into the Alexander Mountain Fire, crews there say they also have good news in fighting that fire tonight. Just an hour ago, we got an update from Larimer County. Nine News reporter Rachel Krause joins us live from that area tonight. Rachel, the fire said the fire crews say the fire is not growing, and that's a big deal because yesterday they said it's growing slower. Now today they can say it's not even growing at all. That's great news. Yeah, Jenny, they say that this fire is at 9,668 acres, and thankfully that number has not changed. And now with this fire at 54% containment, they're feeling really hopeful. And today, crews say they've got the whole eastern side of the Alexander Mountain Fire controlled. That side and all the way from Highway 34 to Midway contained. Fire crews will continue to have a presence in that area, but they say the fire won't be leaving. It's slow work, but with so much vegetation on the ground, they're making good progress. Still, more than 1,100 people are still under mandatory evacuation, and 26 residential structures have been lost to the fire. Others have been damaged, and soon families in the area will be able to get a look at the damage in their homes to see what's left from the fire. That is a grieving process, just like losing a loved one or losing a pet that our community members are going through. Officials say some families will be able to go back to their homes on Wednesday, but to do that, you have to be credentialed on Monday or Tuesday. They'll have locations for families to do that, both in Estes Park and in Loveland. We'll have all that info for you on this web story at 9news.com. Now, as for what caused the fire, officials say that's still very much under investigation. Reporting live in Loveland, Rachel Krause, 9 News.